I now give the floor to the representative of the Human Rights Law Center. You have the floor. Thank you. Mr. President, Australia's implementation of UPR recommendations on youth detention and OPCAT ratification remains wholly inadequate. Shocking footage from youth detention facilities has confirmed that many of Australia's youth justice policies are seriously in breach of human rights standards. Practices like solitary confinement, routine strip searches and the use of restraints on children are all permissible in Australian youth detention facilities. Specific footage aired on national television attracted criticism of the Special Rapporteur on Torture and the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. It shows children being held in solitary confinement for up to several weeks at a time with no running water or fresh air, a child being hooded and placed in a restraint, children being assaulted, stripped naked and repeatedly tear gassed. The program drew much needed attention to the deplorable treatment of detainees within the youth justice system and the magnitude of the over imprisonment of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children. During Australia's UPR, it was recommended that Australia address the incarcer high incarceration rates of Indigenous peoples and in particular the over imprisonments of Indigenous children. Ratification of OPCAT was also a prominent recommendation. Australia should raise the minimum age of criminal responsibility from 10 to 12 in accordance with international law, outlaw punitive practices like solitary confinement and commit to a national approach to address the crisis of Indigenous children's over imprisonment. Further, despite signing the op optional protocol to the Convention Against Torture in 2009 and taking some positive steps, Australia is yet to ratify it. A key step in safeguarding against serious human rights violations in detention is the establishment of independent inspection and oversight of prisons and detention facilities. The Human Rights Law Centre and Amnesty International call on this Council and States to urge the Australian Government to ratify the optional protocol to the Convention Against Torture without delay and to adopt human rights compliance youth justice laws and policies. Thank you. Thank you.